Well, hello, gorgeous. It's your girl, Lexi Whatever, aka That Nail Girl, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no nail things today, but as you can tell by the title, I got some things I want to get off my chest. So I figured as I'm doing my hair, you can hear me out, okay? Please and thank you in advance. First of all, do you see what I have to go through with this hair child? I love her so much, and over the years, I have grown to have patience and grace, but in most other aspects of my life, I actually don't have patience or give myself much grace. So just to give you some quick context, my hair is so thick. <laughs> and because I was not about to blow dry it, then flyering it, just to put it in a ponytail, I'm doing this straight from washing it because I don't have time. I'm pretty much showing you guys the front only. I parted my hair in half. The back is already in a scrunchie and I'll be adding the front to the back once I get it together. Here, I am using all my strength and the little bit of muscle I have to get this right. I have watched a million tutorials on how to do a slick ponytail. So I am determined. And just like I am determined to be successful in the social world. I watched a video from another YouTuber named Alicia. And it was about shifting your identity. Essentially reinventing yourself. While I was intrigued by certain points in the video. And took what I needed. I also said no. Damn it. I just want to be me, the me I already am. I am so tired of reinventing unless I am doing it the wrong way. I've been feeling like I need to be someone I'm not because there's a right way to do this for people to like me. I constantly watch videos titled why you aren't growing on social media and it's always because of the stupid analytics, you're not consistent enough or because you need to just sell your soul basically. Though I know I am not the most consistent, I have been trying and with the amount of followers I have, I said, let me not focus on gaining. Let me engage with the ones who are here and crickets. So with that being said, I literally asked God over and over and over again, what am I doing wrong? And with giving grace comes with patience. I know it takes hard work, but damn. It's called social media so we can be freaking social. It feels like what I've been doing all my life and that's looking for validation. So one day I said, if I like doing this, then why am I so caught up in people? They suck. If I am obsessed with what success looks like for me, then why am I tripping over other humans? I have to do this for me. No one else. I give y'all valuable content as much as I can. But I also want to express myself in ways that may not be familiar to the world. Like showing you how to apply your makeup or be a girl of luxury and glam. <laughs> a lot of content creators that I tend to get inspiration from are ones who've already made it or that I really don't have anything in common with. Pick a niche, they say. Vlog only if your life is interesting. Well, it ain't. Okay, so I got the ponytail down, thank goodness, and as you can see, I'm going in and I'm twisting each piece of the ponytail. And here is where it get interesting, the edges. Sometimes I feel like I'm not cut out for this shit. It is not for the week. I tend to put off doing things because I am tired or because I have so much anxiety to talk to the camera and or record what I'm doing because I'm not that interesting. I tend to only make content when I feel like the time is right, resulting in non-consistency. I battle with, should I get back when I lose weight? Should I wait until I can master putting on makeup? Should I wait until my hair is done? I ask myself, why do I do this? The answer is really simple. I create because I'm an artist in my own way. I think over time, I will get better. I do this because I love expressing myself. I used to journal, but now when I'm writing, I am thinking of ideas on how I can express how I'm feeling through video and talking and sharing. I also do this because I want to make money, which I believe is so contradicting. The way the world works is so confusing to me. Like how to get these damn edges to do what I need it to do. Goodness me, I brush and swoop, brush and swoop, and I get nothing. I don't even have baby hairs. I try to create the illusion and just brush it, but my hair be like, nope. I just want to go straight back. And here's a perfect example of stopping myself from trying to be like everybody else or what the trend is. This is not you on top of just simply not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> You can see in my face how frustrated I am. 
with all that being said, I did it the way I did it and I am happy with how it came out. I brushed and put this edge stick on my flyaways and called it a day. This is the Kiss Edge Fixer Max Hold Sweet Peach Hair Wax Stick. And I love this stick because it's not heavy or super sticky, but it works. I could put this on my edges with a blowout and I can still wrap my hair at night. Major brownie points when my hair sweats a little. Plus, it smells delicious. I will link this below in the comment section just for anyone who is not clear on why creators link things. Nine times out of ten is because they will be getting commission from your purchase. It is a way of supporting your favorite creators who are sharing their daily lives with the world no one asked us to and i don't want to be the one to shove products down your throat however creators got to eat too plus with youtube and content you can learn so much by not knowing this particular product was something that you actually needed so i appreciate the support in advance if you decide to click the links in any of my videos and make a purchase now it is the next day and I can't wait to see what this looks like. First, I am taking my tea tree oil and moisturizing my ends and using it as I'm taking each twist out. I couldn't find the pick so I'm using my wide tooth comb. Hopefully it get the same effect cause that's all I got. <laughs> While I'm watching this point of the video, I'm glad I got this far. I am glad I finished what needed to be done. This is me giving a little bit of grace. I want to keep showing up for myself and for the ones who believe in me and want to pour into each other. I am constantly looking for ways for my content to be all of entertaining, educational, and relatable. I don't want to make this so complex. I am a Gemini and my personality is what it is. Sometimes I psych myself out and don't do things because I am legit scared. When my inner child is like, come on, let me out, you fool. And my adult self is like, you're wasting time. Don't miss your blessing. Just do it. I have friends say, you're doing great. You're so creative and love what you do. At this point, I thought maybe spicing up the style some with some curly extensions would be suffice. But it's a little funny because it's almost like an epiphany. Try new ways, try creative ways, or even don't. I am a firm believer that simplicity goes a long way because this wasn't it. <laughs> if you have made it this far, just know I appreciate you. Before you go, because you've made it this far, I would love to share a couple of quotes with you that I found. You'll learn a lot more through trial and error than through constant success. And you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously. I don't know who needed to hear it, but I wanted to share it. If you agree with any of those or have a quote to share that resonates with you, we can all benefit from, share below. I love you guys. And as we always say, peace, love, and press on.